Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about money. Um, I've had a I've had a few questions that actually specifically regarding like rates and freelance rates and things like that. And we've talked a little bit about that kind of stuff. And so now I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with making a little bit more money um, with what I do now. Um, so. When I started out in my career, I got paid nothing, just like most of us. Um, but I learned really fast that the only way that I was going to be able to to make any more money, like than just the, like the base, you know, two percent or whatever every year, was to take a position somewhere else. And, and I know that that sucks, um, but that's exactly what I had to do. Um, every single time that I was able to to move to a new position somewhere else to where I took a job at another place, I got paid significantly better than just staying at the place that I was at. And that is not just our industry. It's not just our business. It's it's literally every business and every employment that you're going to have. The, the way that you make more income is to take a position somewhere else. Take a higher position somewhere else. You're going to get a little bit more money. You're going to get significantly more money, though, than what you would do if you stayed at the place where you're at. And I know that's sad, um, but that's exactly what I had to do. I, I stayed at a place for a couple of years. I moved on a couple of years, moved on a couple of years, moved on. And that's exactly how my resume has been, um, which has actually helped me start making the income that I needed to be making at the beginning. Um, I wish it was different. I wish that we were able to stay at a place um, for the longevity, but that's just not what it is anymore. We can't just stay at a place for, you know, 40 years and, and expect that to just consistently help us and consistently help us grow in our income and, you know, help us be able to be more financially secure. That's just not what it is. And I know that freelancing, um, when you're freelancing and stuff like that, jobs come and go and you're going to take a bunch of jobs at a time and you're going to get all that income and then you'll go in a dry spell and do that kind of stuff. So specifically regarding freelancing, I don't, I don't have some some magic thing other than what I've talked about before with setting your rates. Um, but when it comes to working in a place, I would just, I know this sucks, but when you're wanting to, to make an increased amount of money and you know that your job's just not gonna do that, you know, other than like a 3% raise for that year, and some places just don't even give raises. Like you literally will be there three or four years and you literally will never see an in increase in income um, unless you ask for it. Um, I've been several places where I've actually had complete breakdowns of what I've done in my seat um, to where I've logged all that stuff, I sat down with them, I talked to them about it, and I was like, hey, I think I'm worth this. Um, I've looked at the market. I'm looking at the market where we are. I've had everything logged for like two years and sat down and was like, hey, I think I'm worth this. And they literally looked at me and was like, no, that's not, no. And so I was like, well, I j I'm going to go somewhere else. And so then I would take another position. I had to move different states. But then I took another position. I got paid what I thought I was worth at that time. And then it happened again. It was like, okay, well, this is this is what it is. And I think that this time I'm going to move over here. I'm going to take this additional income. Now, where I am now, I'm fine. And so I, I feel like I'm making the money that I feel that I should make. And I like the people that I'm working with. So I feel like I'm going to be here for a lot longer than the other times. But when I was growing up in my career... The only way I made more money, the only way I increased my income was going somewhere else. Um, so when you're looking at that kind of stuff, um, you do have to weigh your options. I mean, some places are are a lot more difficult to work. Sometimes you just really like your consistent routine where you're going in the office. You you love your, the play, people that you're working with. And, and that's going to dictate whether you want to move on to help increase your income or not. Um, I took it as learning opportunities to where I could go somewhere else. I could learn from some more people, some really talented people, and I could also increase the income. And so I was taking it as a twofold, not just money, but I was able to go learn somewhere that was a bigger place or whatever it was with, with the talent that I wanted to be with around. I'd make that increased income. And then when the opportunity came up and I felt like I needed to take another, another step forward in my career, then I did that. Um, and now I'm at a place where I'm like, we're okay. We're going to do these things with these wonderful people where I'm at. I'm able to learn so much from these talented people and I enjoy doing what I do. Um, but it was a long road. It was a hard road. 
Um, so this, this isn't one of those things where it's like, oh, and then one year you're going to move to the next thing and it's going to be amazing. That's not how it is. It was difficult to move every single time. I stay in touch with all the people I worked with. Um, I really, really like 95% of the people I worked with, which made it really, really hard for me to move. But I felt like it was the best thing for my family and it was the best thing for my career to move to another place. It was like, okay, well, this is going to help my son or my wife, this is going to help us and it's going to help me with my career. And so I had to balance that. Um, so when you're looking at those opportunities and you're thinking, how am I going to make more income, especially when you're starting out, just just be open. Just be open and willing to, to put yourself out there, look at some roles and, and, and understand that businesses are, are just businesses. They're, they're, they're there to make income. They're there to make money. I mean, that's what it is. They're there to make money. And so if they realize that they can pay you a little bit less to do the same amount of work that they would pay somebody doing, you know, a, a lot more, then they're going to do that, you know? And it's not because they're bad people. It's just because that's just business in general. So I found that the only way for me to be able to do that is to take on additional roles, to, to step into places, to help them fill a need that they have for their, their company. And I was able to make a little bit more money doing it. And that that's the best way that I could say that um, I found to make additional money being full-time employee inside of a workplace. Um, hopefully that's a help. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about that, um, how I went about going uh, uh, in sitting down with my current employers or whatever and talking with them about money. Um, if you have any questions about how I went out and I asked for certain incomes when I went out to places, uh, let me know about that um, because that's a process in itself um, and we can talk about that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you guys in the next video.